Well, hey folks, this is Seven here. Welcome back to the channel. What the heck we got going on? Oh, <laughs> what does that say? Let's see if we can get this guy. Ricci, what? Tools, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, do hope everybody is doing well. And as you can uh, maybe deduce from the giant balloon, we are back on Ricci's Hollow. So, ooh, that wasn't very good. Now, last time around, I started cutting a field in because uh, we're rapidly coming to the realization I'm not going to be able to afford to go out and buy one because property is just too expensive on this map. Even the uh, small field down below where we used to farm is, uh, I think, well over 300,000, which means, you know, we're a tenth of the way there. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to uh, clean the grass up off of here, and then we're going to plow it. But of course, we didn't want to uh, didn't want to waste what's here. Now I'm just currently storing it at the uh, silo down where we have our animals, because we do have some cows as well. We've got that little little section up and running. And we will be checking on them momentarily. But we're going to fill this guy first, and then we'll take it down there. And while we're down at the silo, we'll check on our cattle. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Which isn't to say if you're a regular viewer, you can't hit the like button. Of course you can. Of course you can. And who knows, maybe I'll even earn a, a subscription or two today. Well, we're going to get a couple of trailers off of here. By the looks of things. So we got uh, into the last week of May. So summer is almost upon us. Well, I suppose in some places it's probably getting fairly summer-like. Oh. Is this going to do it for us? It is. Look at that. Very nice. Alright, let's head down the hill and get this into storage. Slow down a bit. Don't need to use much fuel going down here, I'll tell you. I don't think I've touched the gas since the top of the hill. <laughs> we're still doing 90. Alrighty. Well, we were. Yeah, even that field there. That's uh, well over the 300k mark, I do believe. Same with this guy across the road, which is too bad. Because some nice crops would get some of those factories up and running. As it stands, it's going to take us years to put a dent in them. Yeah. I figured that was the safest bet. There was no way I was going to make the corners and stay upright, so... <laughs> That's what we call an emergency break. <laughs> There we are, we're back at, oops, basically, again, overrun, back at our farm, well, I guess this would, oh, 
Let's get out of this fella's way. There we go. Sorry. Quite far enough forward. Not quite, huh? Hmm. All right, let's see where we stand. Here we go. Oh, good stuff. You are all in there. Yeah, like I say, not a... Not a super big fan of having everything so enclosed. You know, like no open space for our cattle. Yeah, there isn't at all, is there? Hmm, not good. Okay, that's turned off. Excellent. Good to know. Good to know. How are you guys doing? A little light on straw. Ooh. Hay and silage. Right. Huh. How could you be shy on silage? Oh. Uh -huh. Gotta give them something, I guess. <laughs> Alright. and we should be in good stead. See the castle up on the hill above the falls? There's a little bit more. Now it looks like we do our sweeping out there too, because I can see that there's a little bit of a pile starting to form in amongst everything we're doing. So...
Yeah, it's a bit high. Yeah, three was too heavy. It almost picked them up. Almost. But you could see the uh, the back of the tractor was starting to come off the ground pretty good too. Oh. Oh wow. Almost. Alright, where'd you go? There you are. Well, not ideal, but it's certainly uh, more than they had. Awesome. That's a little better. 33,000 liters, that should hold them for a bit. Water's good, and the straw is reasonable. Okay. Well, I think we'll have to call her good there for the moment, because I really don't have much else to offer. I thought there was... Uh, A placeable dryer. Hmm. At least I thought I was told there was a placeable dryer. Huh. Alright, well apparently not. Hmm. Okay. Well, so much for that. I guess if we want, uh, want TMR, we're going to have to supply the other ingredients a different way. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Well, let's get back up there and get some more collected. And then we can finish cutting the field in and we'll be on a good start. Hopefully. <laughs> So far, nothing's paid very, very well. Although we have chewed through a bit of money, I guess. Whoops, out of control again. Have chewed through a fair bit of money getting set up here. So hopefully it pays off. Didn't mean to do that, but I guess while we're here. <laughs> what do you think? That's, uh... No, that's a tractor. 
That was completely accidental. I just turned too sharp and it went shooting up the hill. Well, we're, uh, we're here. <laughs> okay, that was, uh, yeah. That was just a little bit ridiculous, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> just a little bit ridiculous indeed. Wow. Oh, man. I mean, impressive, but, yeah. <laughs> a little over the top, if we may be so bold. Alright, let's get the rest of this cleaned up. Hmm, quite the mountain goat. and all my gear looks bleak. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the summer. Hoping it's not going to get... Silly, silly, silly hot as it uh, does on occasion. Last year we managed to get through without any of the real nasty sort of heat waves. And to me, I figure anything that's more than uh, three days in a row where it's over 30 Celsius is a heat wave. And intolerable at best. So yeah, don't have a great tolerance for heat anymore, I'm afraid. But we've got a very typical time leading up to it. It's been kind of uh, cloudy and a little on the chillier side here for the last week or so. A little bit of sunshine poking out now and then just to let us know what it looks like. But that'll improve. He's a... Uh, Installed Red Dead Redemption 2 on my uh, Xbox yesterday. Well, finished installing it yesterday, shall we say. It's uh, quite an impressive looking game, isn't it? Even on a, an Xbox One S, which is, of course, the pretty much bottom of the road for the uh, this generation of Xbox. But, uh, yeah, gotta say, when you first start out and you're off riding through the snow that's pretty impressive stuff pretty impressive you're hard pressed to not think you're watching a a cowboy movie how are we doing here 91 eh hmm. well all right let's grab Let's grab a bit of this last one. We're only going to have one more run, and then we're going to be done, I think, by the look of things. So, Let's go. And I think we'll take the uh, more traditional route back down the hill. Oh, this must be only a partial row, because it sure ain't putting much in there. All right, I was not expecting to only get like a percent off of that. How many rows do we actually have left? Is it just the one? No, two, eh? Or at least part of two. Hmm. All right, well, let's get her. And there we are. Let's go.
this is a scary little road. There we go. Whew, off the mountain again. have a fair bit of grass in that silo. I'm pretty sure this is uh, the third, possibly the fourth trailer. So somewhere between 150 and 200,000 liters at least. Not bad. Yeah. Really hard to make that turn. Come on. There we go. grass oh there we are hundred and sixty eight thousand so yeah I'll take it we have three trailers plus a little a little bit more all right let's go grab the last little bit gather it up. I don't think I'm going to bother running it down the hill. I want to get the rest of that plowing done. Alright. Let's see if we can get up here incident free this time. <laughs> as cool as that was, I wouldn't count on doing it twice. Get some nasty bounces. Ah. Almost rolled her. There we go. And we're here. last little bit and then let's get the job done. This row, it's kind of sitting here weirdly. Being all weirdly. Zink. Okay. Let's grab the big one. There we go.
Well, that's not bad. Another uh, 16,000 and change. All right. Let's send her back and grab the plow. Okay, I have no idea what's in that shed. Ah, okay, it was, oop. It actually was a blank spot. Nice. grab our cheap but very very functional John Deere plow whoops not what I meant to do good thing it wasn't halfway across the map there we go okay allow her to create fields uh, yes please there we go and we are creating a field awesome need that. Okay. I mean, I could have plowed that other grass in. It's not like we don't have a good supply of it up here, but, well, why be wasteful? That's the only time grass is going to grow here, hopefully. We don't convert this back at some point. Wobble, weeble, indeed. Let's just sort of straighten these rows out. There we go. Nice. to this one cut in. Uh, we should be able to do some more normal back and forth kind of stuff. I think that'll be big enough. Doesn't seem that big compared to the scale of a lot of things on this map. But we don't have a lot of gear either. In fact, I don't think we even have a cedar yet, do we? Hmm. Mm, yet the good. What are we gonna do for a cedar? Okay. Wow. Yeah. Even that's a little out of our league. Four meters, fourteen and eleven, eh? Hmm, that might be doable. That might be doable. So about twenty-five thousand. Yeah. That's four meters. That's uh, cheaper than the three meter solutions in some of the cases there. So that might have to be what we're going with. Because as far I don't think there's any real sort of, you know, usually there's a way you can go, oh, we'll just do this and this and throw a quick 20k in the bank or something. 
I imagine I could knock some trees down, but I don't know if I have any property that actually has trees. Well, other than the four or five trees I see surrounding our field here. Hmm. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Alright, let's get the rest of it plowed. Enough muck in the boot. Indeed. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I think we're going to uh, call the episode here. Not the most exciting one, but just trying to get back into the... Uh, back into the fling of it after... Uh, well, not only No Man's Land, which is certainly a completely different style of work than this is. But uh, then again with the uh, Kootenai map. Which is getting... An amazing amount of, uh, of support, and I do thank you guys for it. And hopefully, you'll like this map as well. But until the next time, I think I'm going to call it there. Yeah, we can't quite turn around in enough uh, tight enough arc to get that second row in. <laughs> oh, well. All right, folks. Remember, take care of each other, but uh, do it from a safe distance, eh? There's a lot of that uh, human malware going on. Till next time, this has been Species 7. We're here on Richie's Hollow. Hit that like button on your way out. Don't forget to uh, comment, share, subscribe, all that happy YouTube stuff. We'll catch you here next time. Ciao for now.